Hey folks, so I'm sure many of you have seen the collaboration which I did with Steve back on Friday. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It was a lot of fun to work on and again it's something that everyone should be able to get involved with and it's going to be really fun to see what everyone comes up with. Although it really doesn't seem like it should be, there's an immense amount of work that goes into these collaborations. All of the organisation that's involved in preparing the projects and doing all the various intros and sending it to each other over the internet is actually an awful lot of work and so really I really just want to say a massive thanks to Steve because it was absolutely awesome that he agreed to do the collaboration with me and as I say I had a lot of fun doing it with him so thanks Steve. And in answer to your question Steve we've actually done three collaborations together the first one of course was that April Fool's video which we did years ago then there was the Christmas video which we did which again was that was just us singing so if if you're interested in having a bit of a laugh around Christmas time definitely have a look at that one because it's certainly worth a watch and finally there of course was the video which we just did on a quick side note and something which really I should have foreseen or I kind of did foresee it and I didn't really address it as well as I should have done but the fact that I built a project that was meant to represent England and the fact that I actually ended up doing a Union Jack which uh, to many people was a little bit confusing. Uh, there really was a big part of me that wanted to do just the St George's Cross which of course represents England alone and heck it would have been an awful lot less work as well I wouldn't have had to have worried about the Scottish flag or the sort of the triangular bits for the background and the St Patrick's Cross as well so it would have been a lot less work. For me I'm not really one of these people that takes their nationality too seriously I know that some people do and so when it came down to deciding whether I wanted to do the St George's Cross or the Union Jack at the end of the day I thought the Union Jack looked would have would look a lot cooler and I think it did and so it was probably at that point I should have just gone heck I'm not doing something that represents England I'm doing something that represents the United Kingdom because I know all of us are very fond of our tea and so that probably would have saved a few questions when it came down to it but really uh, yeah I just probably wasn't thinking. <laughs> but the project itself was something that I was actually very happy with and I think it came out really well and so uh, hopefully you guys picked up a few little techniques. It's, that was a slightly different way of doing the market tree because it was all straight cuts. It's actually quite an easy way to do it if you're not familiar with market tree. Uh, there are other ways of doing it of course by sticking two sheets together and cutting it uh, like on the scroll saw or something but uh, when it came down to it because they were all straight cuts that was actually a very easy way to do it I didn't have to fiddle about with trying to get everything right I could go back and trim up my lines so at the end of the day although there was a lot of separate gluing stages in doing that flag it meant that it was actually a very easy way to get good results so Steve of course is auctioning off the sushi set which he made in his video and so if you're interested in getting hold of that it would be really worthwhile bidding on that because all the proceeds go to the Make a Wish Foundation. There's a link down in the description to it and you should definitely take a look. So moving on from the collaboration there's a few other things which I thought I would talk about and one of them is this food safe finish which was sent to me by Paul Clark <laughs> absolutely ages ago so I'm feeling pretty guilty that I haven't covered this yet. I should be testing this out in my next video blog where I'll be giving sort of a sort of semi review of this product and I'll also be using it in a couple of future projects. <laughs> I have to be honest this stuff smells absolutely great take a whiff of that. Yep. <laughs> so that's all I've got for you this time take care everyone I'll see you very soon bye bye.